Assalamualaikum and my name is Nurul Atika. Today, I'm going to talk about comparison technology application in education between Malaysia and Finland. Using technology in education in Malaysia is profound, influencing access, learning outcomes, teaching, teaching methods, economic preparedness, administrative efficiency, global competitiveness, and adaptations to crisis, and also data-driven decision making. As technology continues to evolve, its role in shaping the future of education in Malaysia will likely more become even more significant. However, using technology in education in Finland is characterized by its support for personalized learning, enhancement of collaborations and communications, promotions of digital literacy, support for teacher professional development, fostering of innovations and creativity, improvement of access to education, facilitations of data-driven decisions making, preparations for the future of work, and integration with effective pedagogical approaches. These factors contribute to Finland's reputation for educational excellence and its ability to prepare students for success in a rapidly evolving global society. Comparing the technology applications in education system of Malaysia and Finland reveals interesting differences and similarities shaped by their respective contexts, priorities, and educational philosophies. Number one, we can see here infrastructure and access. In Malaysia, the infrastructure for technology in Malaysian school is variable, with urban areas generally having better access compared to rural regions. Initiatives like the One Bestari Net project aim to enhance connectivity but face challenges in implementations. However, in Finland, boost high internet penetration penetrations and equitable access to technology across urban and rural areas. Schools have well integrated digital infrastructures supported by government initiatives. Next, integrations of technology in curriculums. In Malaysia, technology integration varies across schools with some adopting digital tools more intense extensively than others. The government promotes digital literacy and inclusions of ICT which is information and communications technology in education policies. However, in Finland, technology is used as a tool to enhance learning rather than as a primary focus. Finish, finish for curriculum emphasize critical thinking, creativity and collaborations with technology integrated to support these goals. Beside that, pedagogical approach. In Malaysia, there is a shift towards student center and collaborative learning facilitated by technology. However, traditional teaching methods still dominate in many schools. But, uh, in Finland, pedagogy focuses on holistic development with less emphasis on standardized testing and more on personalized learning pathways. Technology supports interactive and exploratory learning experiences. In teacher training and professional developments, Malaysia efforts are ongoing to train teachers in integrating technology effectively. Professional development programs aim to enhance digital skills among educators. In Finland, teachers are well trained and trusted to innovate in their teaching practices. Professional development emphasizes pedagogical skills alongside digital competence. Last but not least, government policies and initiatives. In Malaysia, various national policies like Malaysia Education, Blueprint and My Digital are driving digital transformations in education. Public-private partnerships are also encouraged to enhance technology adoptions. However, in Finland, government policies focus on equity, quality and sustainability. Initiatives like the National Digital Learning Environment aim to support schools in integrating technology effectively. In conclusion, while both Malaysia and Finland are leveraging technology to enhance their education system, their approaches reflect their unique socio-economic context and educational philosophies. Malaysia focuses on improving access and integrations, whereas Finland emphasizes pedagogical innovations and equity. Understanding this comparative perspective helps in ident identifying best practices and areas for improvement in both contexts. My name is Nur Atika. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you soon.